I want to thank Beacon for giving me this Distinguished Service Award. Really, it belongs to all the families who inspired me over the years that I've been a state senator, especially those that were involved in the safe haven crisis. You know, it was those parents that came forward and, and shared with us the struggles that they were facing that really motivated me to want to do something about it. And, you know, it's something that I know that every family faces in one way, shape, or form, but to see how drastic the situation was for many people really opened my eyes and made me want to make a change for them. It has been a pleasure to work with Beacon in developing strategies for how to improve behavioral health services across our state. You know, it's been such a tremendous partnership. You know, I'm glad that we helped create Beacon and, and to see the experience and the expertise that Beacon has and how they've been able to help guide me both in creating a pilot program to integrate behavioral health services into primary care offices and, and to put in place some internships to keep more of our highly skilled psychology students here in the state and serving rural areas. You know, I'm really looking forward to continuing to see how these bills advance mental health services in our state and what we can be doing at the next level. You know, I plan to stay involved in behavioral health services even when I'm no longer a state senator because I've become this committed to the issue and want to continue to help in any way that I can. There's still so much we need to do in terms of our workforce and, and making sure that everyone who needs services can get the level of service that they need. Uh, there's also a lot we need to do in education and stigma and making sure that families feel comfortable coming forward and, and getting help and have the right people in their communities to approach about that. You know, they need to you know, feel safe and need to realize that it's normal to go through some of these problems. And I know Beacon will continue to be a leader in, in pushing that forward so families can feel more comfortable. Thank you again to Beacon for giving me this wonderful and unexpected award. I'm just doing my duty as a state senator and I look forward to helping to continue uh, pushing these issues forward and working with members of the legislature so we can continue to get good legislation passed.